Hey everybody, it's Adam and I am again wearing my NASA jacket, but today it makes more sense than most other days because I'm standing in the middle of Yerba Buena Center for the Arts new exhibition of Tom Sachs, A Space Program. If you're a regular viewer of Tested, you know that Tom is a good friend of mine and I'm also a huge fan of his amazing body of work, um, much of which is on display here at Yerba Buena um, from now through January of 2017. We're going to take you on a tour of some of the highlights of a space program. It's totally amazing. Come on. So uh, I interviewed Tom on the talking room on Tested years ago and he talked about one of the very first pieces, if not the first piece that he made that is akin to his sculpture was this. He made his father uh, a camera that his father desired, a Nikon camera, along with two rolls of film out of clay, and he painted them and carefully put a piece of plastic up front as a lens. And the piece is here on display in a space program. You kind of get to see the full breadth of the, the artist from the young man all the way to the, the fully grown creator. After you've passed the timeline in the exhibition, you come across this, which is uh, some early and some later uh, sculptures of Tom's, including the McDonald's ergonomic mop bucket rendered in foam core, an Hermes McDonald's meal. This one's from 2012, but interestingly enough, a version of this sculpture was actually shown in Tom's first show in San Francisco almost 20 years ago at the Bergruen Gallery. Um, a purse, a boom box, actually come or swing around here, Joey. One of the things Tom builds a lot of is boom boxes. Uh, in fact, he had a show of his boom boxes at the Brooklyn Museum earlier this year in New York. Uh, and this is, this is it's fully functional, ready to play music. Um, and it's actually rendered in porcelain, I believe. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. But we're here for a space program. So I wanna start showing you some space hardware. This is one of the gloves from one of the spacesuits made for a space program. Now, the mission that Tom enacted here a few days ago uh, at YBCA is the third space program mission he's undertaken. Uh, one was at the Gagosian Gallery in Los Angeles. The other was at the New York Armory on the Upper East Side in New York City. The third was here in San Francisco. And this glove exemplifies sort of all the, all the, the building techniques of Tom's. It's made out of Tyvek coveralls. There's pieces of hardware, notebooks, simple consumer level pieces pieces that are wielded and welded together into what, honestly, when you're up close, feels exactly like an authentic space glove in terms of its wear and its tear and uh, the narrative extent on its, on its surface. Um, moving over here just a little bit, this is, uh, this is one of the training modules that Tom built at the end of the NASA missions. Of course, they take a helicopter and then go pick up the, the landing capsule and rescue the astronauts. This is for his crew to train. Um, and what you can see around the edges here, are all these different times of various crew members uh, trying to better each other's times in terms of how quickly they can take off, pick up their load, and drop it where, where it's supposed to go. And again, everything here has a place. There's a place for the pencil and the stopwatch and the liquor bottle and the shot glasses. Um, they are a repeating refrain in Tom's work. This is the control end of space program. Uh, obviously, behind me, the 30 to 40 some odd monitors are all part of mission control. This is where Tom and his Capcom and his mission commander enact the mission of a space program from. And surrounding it are not only some sculptures, but also all of the stations that allow the story to be told. So over here is special effects. Over here, darkness and stars. We've got ignition, we've got launch, we've got re-entry, and we've got rescue. Um, there's so much to cover. Let me just show you my station that I manned for the space program here, um, and that is special effects. This is the special effects station. Um, this was, in fact, I believe, Sam or Tanarat's workstation for several years, but now it's part of a space program. And when I say special effects, I mean special effects. So when the mission takes off from Earth, mission control has a shot from the rocket's POV, and it is that. There is Earth. And when we're taking off from Earth, they say, go special effects, and I enact leaving Earth. 
Um, now, if you pan up, you just see that it is a globe hanging from a string being wound up by a motor underneath an umbrella. It's really cool. So then we get to Europa, right? When we get to Europa, we switch the point of view to Europa, and then I flip another switch and Europa approaches. Here we go. This is the mission coming into Europa. I'm going to give a disclaimer here and say that I am a specially trained technician in this station. Flipping these switches is not for public consumption. This is not for civilian use, authorized personnel only. This is another special effects station, the ignition station. Now what there is is a blowtorch with a nozzle that looks like an engine. But the, the Saturn V has four engines, and the way Tom does that is by using mirrors slid into place. Now, the mirrors break every single time from the heat, so there's a regular storehouse of mirrors. Again, I'm authorized to touch these. And when Capcom says ignition, you cut to this shot, and the engines fire up. You see the blue flame come out of them. They use the fire stick to make that flame slightly orange. It's super awesome. Then, once we've got ignition, we come over here to launch. Now launch is a model Saturn V rocket with the, with the lunar module on the tip and the gantry and everything. Um, but there's two cameras on this and they're set up to replicate two classic NASA shots. One is the distant shot of the gantry with the rocket in it. And you can see this is a live shot. And the second is this classic, classic NASA shot of the rocket as it's moving up past the camera, right? Totally, totally awesome. And each of these shots gets put up on the big screen for the audience to watch during the launch. During re-entry, another blowtorch is used against a piece of metal here which turns bright red hot. And you see it on this monitor here, you see the re-entry happening. After re-entry, of course, is splashdown, and that's where this is. I showed you the training module earlier. This is a more advanced version of that, um, which includes an aircraft carrier, a helicopter, and the pilot sits here and operates the helicopter to take off, pick up the capsule, and deliver it back to the uh, aircraft carrier. And I have to tell you, in the execution of this mission in the room, the crowd went nuts. It's an absolutely thrilling finish to a four hour mission to see the astronauts being delivered. Um, the, the joy that we showed up on stage is completely real. And this is mission control, where all the cameras are controlled, where Capcom to talk, can talk to the astronauts and all the other workstations. Um, but a brief tour of this show would not be complete without taking you over to the LEM, the lunar excursion module. Um, it is gigantic. It's much bigger than you think is possible. Uh, and it's in the other gallery. Let's go take a look. There she is, the full size lamb. Um, this camera shot is not sufficient for you to experience just how gigantic this thing is, how massive, uh, and how insane it is that we sent one of these to the moon. Um, you look at the landing gear, and by the way, Tom's LEM stands on its four landing pads. There's no cheater pole in the middle. It is self-supporting, which means the bottom is a large welded steel uh, structure that holds it all in orientation. This whole thing breaks down and will be shipped back across the country at the end of this show. Um, and it is all built out of steel, plywood, resin, and the, the standard tools of Tom's trade. Um, we're going to cut some shots from the, of the inside so you can see the various workstations, the toilet, the lunar lander game with which the astronauts land on Europa, uh, the food supplies, etc., etc., etc. It's really like I can't describe. I knew about this, but I had never seen it until it came here to Yerba Buena. And standing in front of it is is genuinely awe-inspiring.
and we'll wrap it up here in the Winnebago out front of YBCA that is the astronaut dressing and quarantine band. It's a genuine Winnebago. This is also where the astronauts get suited up and desuited at the end of the mission. I'm Adam Savage. This is Tom Sachs, a space program at YBCA in San Francisco. I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>